Thank you. My name is Ola Nilsson, and uh, I often pride myself on uh, my 17-year-long involvement for equality and, and human rights. But it was just very, very recently that I again took some time to look in the mirror and to, to ask myself, well, what was in my life before those 17 years? Why, why isn't my involvement uh, longer than that, lifelong even? So uh, I found something, something there. Um, when I was 15 years old, something happened that scared the shit out of me. Um, it was a late, late Saturday night. I'd walked a friend home after my first uh, ninth grade disco, and uh, I was standing alone at, on a dark street waiting for the night bus to come to take me home. Uh, when a car pulls up at the curb, and uh, one of the guys there in there calls me over and asks me some questions. It was friendly at first, and uh, then someone grabbed my shirt and pulled me, and the, the car started rolling, and I pulled away. One of the guys came out. I got a kick to the groin, and I punched to the side. One of the guys pulled me, forced me to the floor, and I screamed for help. They took my wallet, and they drove off. Three guys were bigger than me. They had dark hair, and their complexion was darker than mine. And my fear for my life turned into a fear against the other against them. All foreigners were to blame. And among my friends uh, who uh, looked like me, uh, the Swedish flag became a symbol of protecting us against them, against the threat. I even bought a, a Thor's hammer uh, to wear around my neck as some sort of ancient, ancestral, mythical protector against all non-Nordic. It was really easy for us to make that mental leap for our own from our own fear to the fear against the other. And that really scares me still today. But Martin Luther King said, at the height of the civil rights movement, the hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. And I was fortunate enough, see, that uh, I had other influences in my life that made me, sa made me feel safe, protected, appreciated, and loved. And around that time, a bit later, uh, I had the chance to apply to, and, and I was awarded a scholarship uh, to go off and study in, in Norway at the Red Cross Nordic United World College uh, together with uh, 200 other young people from 70 different countries. And suddenly, I was in an environment where my new best friends, and my brothers and sisters, were from Jordan, and Canada, Ethiopia, and, and Venezuela, and so on. And uh, I learned about Islam in uh, a tiny room like this uh, from guys who I shared a room with and, and a bathroom with. I, uh, I learned to sing. Africa. And you see, this was a spark that, that, con that started these following 17 years. Somehow that became the starting point for me. And so, in July of, of last year, when Anders Bering Breivik attacked everything that I believed in and uh, mass murdered innocent people at Utøya and blew up government buildings in Oslo, <coughs> it really hit me right in the heart. Um, and. Um, um, I, uh, I, I, was, I was completely outraged, uh, but I was also somehow instinctively overwhelmed by 
the sense that the feeling that if ever there was a time when love was needed to drive out hate, now is that time. And as the quote went, uh, if, one, if one man can create so much hatred, uh, imagine how much love we all can create together. And I organized uh, to Oslo with love three months after uh, the attacks. It's a, ga a gathering uh, 70 people from over 10 countries um, to, uh, in Oslo to really dig into the questions of where do we go from here. And uh, it was fun. Some of the people here today uh, were there. And um, we, ki we did come up with some answers and some actions. Uh, but the question still stays with me is as relevant for me today. And, and, and I think that um, if, if uh, uh, you know, the, if, if the answer uh, for Dr. Martin Luther King uh, at the height of the civil rights movement um, was to meet hate with love, um, I am, am still convinced that uh, whatever the answer to the questions of where we go from here is, uh, I'm determined that that answer has to be deeply rooted in a sense of, of love for our common humanity and uh, respect for our planet uh, in order to move forward to something better. So uh, these are just some personal reflections that I, uh, that I wanted to share with you uh, today about how uh, my values and, and identity uh, ha has been shaped at different points in my life by fears, but how new friendships and, and love uh, has also been a force to... Uh, to drive out that, that fear and uh, uh, not let uh, hate. At a time like today when, when uh, uh, we urgently need to end segregation, we need to increase respect for between people uh, and yet fear, suspicion and, and racism is uh, still as rampant um, so um, I, uh, um, I I'm I'm driven by this uh, this conviction, and uh, um, that's what I wanted to sh to share with you uh, here today. And um, two TEDx with love. Thank you very much.